Guys, imagine the horror of learning that your child was brutally beaten, all so the attacker could film the violence and post it on social media. My constituent, Ed Peisner, had to live this nightmare last December. His son, Jordan, was leaving a local restaurant when he was viciously attacked by another teen, someone Jordan did not know and had never met. Why? Because the attacker's friends filmed the assault and posted on social media where it quickly went viral. This sick desire for internet attention left Jordan with severe, life-threatening injuries. To ensure that this type of attack and these other types of socially media-driven uh, criminal activities don't affect other families in our district, I've introduced AB 1542 that I've called Jordan's Law. Jordan's Law will add an enhancement of up to a year onto a sentence of those who film their own attacks and those that conspire with an attacker to film them. The social media motivated attacks planned are dramatically increasing in frequency. Uh, this year alone, there have been numerous cases. Uh, these include four teenagers who tortured a Chicago special needs uh, teen while broadcasting the incident live on social media, to a transgender individual in New Orleans who was beaten in public so it could be put on Facebook Live. We also just recently saw in the Sacramento area a student who was videotaped while in the bathroom to have that video posted on social media and the person that filmed the attack was simply charged with a misdemeanor and sent home. Our criminal co code has simply not kept pace with technology-driven social media changes. This is why we need Jordan's Law, which will stand as a strong deterrent and make clear that this behavior is simply unacceptable and those who commit these crimes are held accountable. I also want to say that there is currently no opposition to the bill and I respectfully ask for your I vote.